What's up guys, Kevin with On Point Pro Styles in Gainesville, Georgia. I wanted to do a video that covered um, window tint shrinking a little bit more in detail, a little more in depth, uh, kind of talk to you about what the film's doing, uh, which direction and why. Um, but before we do any shrinking on the car, uh, I've got the tint already laid out, the dryer sheets applied. We even have a decal on here, which is interesting. I got a lot of questions of can you tint shrink over a decal? So we're gonna do that on here. But we're gonna go to my peel board with just a random piece of tint. We're gonna talk a little bit about it and hopefully give you a little more education about how tint shrinks and why. Okay, so I have a piece of tint here. Um, same tint as on the car. Uh, it's pulled off a 36 inch roll. And I've set this on my glass um, with the factory edge on the top or the side of the roll, the factory edge on the bottom. So this side I cut, this side I cut. These are the ends that pulled out of the roll of film. Um, I don't know about the manufacturing process and, and honestly why it is this way, but it's obviously well known in the industry. Uh, or if you don't know, you can only shrink film toward the factory edges. You cannot shrink it to the pull side. Uh, or the flat side of the film, which side you cut on. Um, so as you're shrinking film, the film is actually pulling in from side to side. Um, so nearest the side, is it shrinking? Technically, yes. But the film has to pull together. And on the side, there's nothing together. It's only gonna pull in one way, hence why you end up getting creases. So I'm gonna grab the heat gun. I'm gonna show you a, a couple of simple things to kinda hopefully give you a little better understanding about what film's doing when it's shrinking, uh, and then maybe you'll see it a little bit better. So I've got a piece of tint here on my peel board. Obviously the peel board's flat, so we're gonna create um, some things to shrink in it. We'll snap it just a little bit. You'll see snap shrinking in, in future videos and such. So this is my factory edge or the side of the end of the roll, and this is the factory edge or the side of the roll. This is the cut side, the actual uh, side of the film that you cut the film off of the roll. So this is the wrong, right, right, wrong. All right, so I've created me a nice big air bubble right here. We're gonna shrink that down to the factory edge. We call that, I guess, a finger. So as I'm shrinking, you see these, at this point, horizontal lines going this way, kind of a zigzag. That's the film pulling in and shrinking. So the film, when it shrinks, will, will actually pull in from side to side as you're adding heat to it, hence shrinking the film down and creating a curl or a curve. It can't do it on the side because it's actually pulling from those two ends. It's coming in this way. If the, the film, is, so think of it this way. The film has to have sort of a back and forth. It's got to pull and tug and, well, if there's only one way right here, the film's not gonna be able to have an, an other direction to pull in. I hope that makes sense. So. We're gonna snap shrink this, show you a little bit more. So this is the factory edge. We're gonna add a little bit of heat to the bottom here. Right off the rip, you can see where it's starting to curl. That's because it's pulling in, it's creating a curve. We're gonna over shrink it. We're just gonna ruin this film. But you can really tighten this edge up and create a real curl on this film. Which basically is creating like a pocket, like a a pocket to wrap around curves. So you can see that line right there. So this whole side of the film is shrunk, has a curl to it, has a curve. You can do the same thing up here. Here's a bubble just randomly in the middle. This is flat and this is flat, so it has no way to go get to the edge. So it's gonna pull side to side. You're gonna see these, these horizontal lines. And literally that's the film pulling into itself and shrinking. This is all shrunk right here. We've got it right here at the top. Let's add some heat. There it is, shrunk right to the top. Now we'll let's, let's do one on the side here. Let's put us a finger in here somewhere, if I can find. All right, let's shrink that right there. See it? So we're gonna take that and we're gonna shrink it. If this was down here, it would zigzag to the bottom and you could push it flat. Not a chance. And look how fast that happened. It has 
it has no side to side pull. It has to pull this way. Well, right here at the edge, it's only pulling in. It's, it's basically just shrinking the film in and there's nothing behind it to stretch, to shrink, if that makes sense. So let's just lift it up and try to snap it. Can't fix it. You see that? I added heat. You see how it's wanting to go the other direction? It's wanting to sort of, it only shrinks one way. It's kind of a larger bubble, a little over the top, but why not? And just like that, they're shrunk. So no shrink into the side. No shrink into where you cut the film off. You can only do it to the factory edge. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, let's do one more. Trunk. So factory edge, factory edge. You can shrink. You can shrink. This side, negative. We're back on the car. We've got our film again. We've got our film uh, on the car. Uh, you noticed I did my center line as usual. We've got a decal we're going to contend with, show you how that works out. And then I'm just kind of lightly tacking my sides down. But um, we're going to do the same thing here. Obviously, we know now. Um, this is our cut edge. We can't, we can't shrink here. So we want to keep that as flat as possible, but shrink out as much of that area as we can. Um, this is our factory edge. This is our factory edge. So those are the directions we're going to be shrinking to. So maybe you get a good view of how the, how the film shrinks as we're shrinking it. So I start from the outside and work my way to the middle. Um, your outside corners tend to be your bigger bunches. So it's easier to kind of shrink more of the film and push it just a little bit toward the middle. Not, you know, too much, but obviously you can push it gently toward the middle and kind of spread the, spread the love. Like here on the outside, I'm, I'm, I'm shrinking this down, but I'm also pushing a little that way to, uh, to spread the film out some, shrink it a little bit more evenly. We'll take a look here. You can see these lines like this. You can see where it's bunched up and you can see the tops have kind of flattened out. That's where the film's pulling in and it's actually shrinking together. So when you see those, those lines like that, that means that film has shrunk and it's tightened up. So Another thing to bear in mind when you're shrinking is, is don't, don't direct the heat directly to the tops of these peaks and such. I mean, you, you, you want to shrink them kind of like a finger, but you shrink sort of above it and a little bit past it to sort of evenly shrink it down. Above and past just a little bit. That kind of helps. You can see it's just laying down. You're literally watching the film just sort of flatten itself down to the car and when you see those or down to the glass and when you see those horizontal lines that's where you know it's pulled together it's shrunk and you just kind of push those down and organize and bunch up your film just a little bit more so you can see it's creating that curl right there it's it's shrinking it's pulling together tighten up our edge there we go so let's do the top right now we're gonna go right over that decal. I get it all the time. Can you shrink over the decal? Absolutely. A little harder to look at and see your film, but otherwise, you know, just push it flat. All right, I'm gonna stop here. Here's another form of shrinking. So top corners, some bottom corners can tend to be a little bit tighter. So pull shrinking, you lift your film, you pull, tug just a little bit. You're basically pulling it from the glass just a little bit and pulling it upwards just a hair. And you add heat to it. And you can see it sort of do this.
Well, that's the film. You're organizing the film toward the top to keep it from pulling side to side. And that's the film shrinking down. And you push past that and you see this corner is basically done. Another reason I usually leave the top a little bit longer in case I need to pull shrink a little. Now I'm just kind of playing through the middle. Right over the decal. Side. We'll do a little pull shrinking on this side. Shrink and watch that film. Just read the film. Watch it sort of curl. There you have it, it's shrunk. So to recap, no shrinking to the side you cut off of the roll, factory edge to factory edge only. Um, watch the film shrink and curl as you're shrinking it. Uh, learn to, to identify what the film's doing. Um, it's not gonna happen overnight. Uh, practice, practice, practice. Uh, put this video in slow-mo, rewind it a hundred times, rewatch it. Um, you just got to put your hands on it. You got to try it. You got to learn it. But just remember that the film is, is curling like this and it'll only do it toward the direction of the factory edge. So anyways, I hope that video helped and didn't get too confusing. Um, tintdepot.com, all the tint and tools you'll need. Uh, thanks for watching.